Hello, I'm Riot. Um, I am from Los Angeles and signed a brain feeder. I just put out a record, Totem. I got into music when I was really young. I was really into singing um, with Madonna. <laughs> and then also uh, I was really into Pink Floyd and, um, you know, this kind of 70s classic rock that my stepdad listened to. And it always just really resonated with me. And um, I started writing choir pieces when I was kind of really young and continued into guitar and then jazz guitar, and jazz music, and um, classical music, and then, you know, that's kind of where I went off. And when I heard, I think, Portishead for the first time, and the 90s hip-hop really influenced me into beat music. When I heard the Wu-Tang Clan and Tribe Called Quest, changed my life for sure. I have a lot of different influences um, in that. Um, when I was writing Totem, I was listening to Rock Moninghoff a lot, and um, a lot of Brad Meldow as well, who's a piano player. And I was really influenced by a lot of the musicians that I was playing with for the past few years, which Mark Giuliana is this jazz drummer, and Jason Fraticelli, <clears throat> this upright bass player, um, and another drummer, Tony Catastrophe, and Taylor McFerrin, and Mast. Tim Conley, I was doing a lot of improvisations with, so I was highly influenced by them and our sort of unconscious movement of uh, creating a lot of uh, fusion with beats and uh, pedals and such. So I did a lot of that for a few years and then um, combined a lot of the classical and jazz elements that I studied, and that is kind of where I'm at right now. Um, and Totem was sort of my baby and in in something that I wanted to just produce and mix and write and play mostly everything by myself. Um, Avant Gold was a collaboration. That was the record before. The next thing I do, I think I want to go back to collaborating with those guys, Mark, Juliana, and Jason and Mast again, because I do really miss playing with live musicians and sampling live musicians. So I'm pretty sure that's where I'm going to go next. But I don't know, because there's my brain is in a lot of different musical places right now as well. Um, big artists I would love to collaborate with. I'd love to do a record with someone like Nigel Godridge. Um, I really like his production a lot. Um, or something more avant-garde, you know, with like David Byrne or Johnny Greenwood or something. I'm really into um, that world. But someone that would bounce and listen and I think vibe off of what I do. Um, yeah, so that's kind of that world. A um, few words about Paris and London. Um, I'm really excited to go to Paris. I was only there for maybe a few hours one day, but I hear I need to spend some time, so I'm definitely planning on being there this summer. And London I, I like. I like a lot. The rain is interesting for me, um, but I'm excited to be inspired by the artists here and to be here for a little while and to see what's going on and to explore. I'm in an exploration zone right now and yeah so I just plan to live there or live here and go on lots of journeys and write lots of poetry and uh, music while I'm here. So thank you. <laughs> Thanks from Paris. <laughs> I feel you on the way. Oh